What's going on everyone? This is Lior and welcome back to my channel. So I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm starting to do a little bit more vlogging now um, on the channel because I've had a lot of people reach out and basically ask me to uh, get, give more details about what it's actually like to be in the business. What are some of the day-to-day -day challenges you may not necessarily face um, or really even learn about in, in, in real estate school, right? And something you may in a book or a podcast. Um, so I thought I'd shine on a lot of the issues we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So for this particular video, um, I'm going to be highlighting uh, one of our developments that we got going on. So it's basically a piece of raw land that we own um, in a, right in Boston. Uh, we had it already approved by the city to build four residential units. And we're basically getting everything in place right now to start the construction and start the foundation work. Um, now, typically uh, what we do before we actually pour the foundation, excavate the site, um, we have a structural engine. We need to do structural engineering work. And with that, we also do what's called a geotechnical report or a geotech report. And basically what we're going to do is analyze the soil within the land um, and kind of see the composition and make sure it can support um, the right type of foundation that we're going to pour. So a company um, to come up to our land, um, they're supposed to come out. Uh, they're supposed to come out this morning. Um, and what ha what ended up happening is I got a call late last night from them telling me they drove by the property and they told me that there's a fence all of a sudden locking the access to the land. Now I'm the owner of the land and I know I didn't put up any fence. Um, so we basically, one of the things, this is one of the challenges you kind of have to learn on the fly. Um, we are going to have to figure out who put that on there and how do we get rid of it. Um, so I placed a call late last night to one of my contractors. He was able to sneak into Home Depot, uh, basically buy a tool that is uh, hopefully will cut off the fence, um, the chain link on the fence, and uh, so that we can open it and actually have the geotech company have their uh, oil, uh, their rigs come up into the land and drill inside. So we're about to. I'm about to drive over. Um, I'm supposed to meet the contractor like half an hour before the geotech company is supposed to come over there. We're about to figure it out. I really, really hope uh, you know it's not gonna it's not gonna blow up in my face. So I'm about to drive over and let's go. All right, so it is 6.30 in the morning, uh, right before our company's supposed to show up on site. Our contractor went late last night over to get a tool to cut down the chain on the property. Again, still no idea how it got there, um, but I am supposed to meet him on site right now, make sure he can cut it down so that the geotech company can get all of their equipment on site. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the contractor is able to break down that fence and uh, we'll make it through this but we'll see site right now the land is right behind us you can see there's a gate and we're uh, gonna try to take this down right now hopefully we can get creative so we can get access to our own land which should always make it which should always be good since I'm paying taxes on it right now. We got our geotag companies on site as well. So everyone's ready to roll. Just got to take care of this quick thing. All right, so after a lot of pushing and shoving, finally got that fence open. You can see that truck is right behind me, got into the land. So now they're gonna be able to drill borings, get some a lot of soil samples all over the lot um, and really be able to help us determine what kind of foundation we need to pour uh, for this building. So 7 a.m. now, they're up and running and ready to roll. 